I have to speak a bit quietly because it's rather echoey in here at the moment. Not insinuating that big, it's as echoey because there's no furniture. But nonetheless, let's keep our voices down. Now, if you haven't seen stage two, or stage one for the matter, stage one's the important bit. Stage one's how to actually build the foundation for the barbecue hut. And stage two is actually how to build a barbecue. If you haven't seen those most important videos first, then sod off, go watch those, and I'll wait for you. Silly! <laughs> So you now watch stage one and two. So now you actually know what stage three is all about. And stage three is all about kitting out the interior of the bike car. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put all these lovely trimming bits. There should be trims down here. There should be trimmed all the way around the frames, all the way down in each corners and the seats and the barbecue thingies. I got the storage as well. So I've got also the material to do the storage, but the, all the edgings around. Uh, the trims around the doors, the whole shebang. Hopefully I'll keep this video fairly short and interesting. It's a rather small, it's confined space, so it's been hard to get the camera in the right angles. Wish me luck, because I'm sure I'll do this video justice. If not, don't mention it in the comments, except for good stuff, then I'm happy with that. Or new ideas, always need new ideas. Also, if you like this channel, subscribe, like, and also share to your friends. Cool beans. Hey. If you haven't seen these bits, these bits are the things that go on the inside. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> Obviously, they go on the inside because we're on the inside. But these are actually for the seats. So I'm actually now going to put these around for the seats. So, all the internal trims are now done. I've added a couple which are not actually part of the pack, but I suspect spare wood left over, so I thought, why not? If you've got it, go do it. Personally, I feel it makes a big difference, but that's because I've done it. Some people might not notice it at all, but I did because I installed it. So nonetheless, that's that. So now it came to the most important part, the most exciting part, and that's the barbecue time.
as you can see, the barbecue's now installed. Next stage is the lights. So there we are, barbecue's installed, the hut's been decorated. There are obviously some more decorations I've got to do, because obviously as we all know, it's Christmas time. But nonetheless, what I'm gonna get on with now is start cooking my chicken, because I've been waiting, what, at least 10 weeks for a sodding barbecue. Now that it's raining that side, I can't have one. I'll wait as yes, I can, because I'm indoors. Now this thing's a right old beaut, because you've got this platform here, which can easily twist off. Just simply take off the side when you wanna clean it. That'll hold some sort of a pot. I don't, I don't, I don't know, truth be told. But you've got this little dopper here which you can adjust up or down as you lock it in place and what that does is stop your shelf from falling down so whenever you twist it it doesn't drop down to whatever's below it. Obviously this one has the same thing. You've got some sort of gizmo thing here, I don't know what that's for, kettle, I, I, I generally don't know. This, this is it, this, this is the thing, this is the killing. This is great, this is what I'm going to put my chicken on in a minute. So again it's got a stopper so you can adjust the height. It's got a little screw on the side so you can rotate it. Lock the screw in place. You get to the front section of it. Obviously when the barbecue's on, you don't lean across the barbecue. That's a stupid now, isn't it? But you give that little squeeze, that opens up. You put your chicken inside, or fish. Lock that down in place, it is adjustable. And then obviously, once you cook in one side, none of this business about spatula and get underneath and ripping all the pieces because half of it's stuck. Who cares? Just simply rotate and cook the other side. Lock that back in place, and I press that. So there we are, all complete and finally, just for Christmas. Now I'm gonna sit here, watch my chicken cook, just a glass of wine, and you know what? I might have put my feet up on my bed. Ah, I'm gonna do that. I wonder what I could trim off now. 